Hello, my little kitty cues! Welcome to a new Queer Review! My weekly videos where we talk about the episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 11. And I'm super sorry, but this week and probably the next one, I'll go over the episodes a bit faster because I'm actually moving and I don't have much time. Just enough to spill all the tea with love and nothing but love. Even though this love usually vanishes very fast. When the queens realize that if they suck in the first episode, the chances to go with the top four are not that much. And now that Kahana is gone, Mercedes finds herself struggling to keep up if she wants to stay because let's face it she's not making a very good impression so far where are you gonna be strong at you struggling in all the categories you gotta pick a struggle you can't struggle in everything bitch you go home but her opponents is almost like the Miss Vanjie of this year and she might even have the chance to be remembered after all opponents you earn Everything! Who's doing a good job so far is Scarlett, who proved the others that she can be a threat if she applies. I delivered in the challenge. And I hope I send a message to anyone who maybe is discounting me. <laughs> if you remember, not everyone was convinced that she was good at all or that Evie could win as well. Like Ariel, for instance. I thought that they were gonna bomb, and then they killed it. I was like, mm, great, cuz. I certainly did not. Now she is the one that has to prove the others that she has something more to offer besides huge wigs and a natural big ass. Ariel is a social media girl. She's one note. She don't really have a personality. Nobody here. Basically this is the season of people who has to prove something to someone because they believe there was something spectacular but they're coming out as something less than forgettable. Sounds like a great start to me! So this week's mini challenge is like the new beginning for most of these queens. For others it's like a wake up call, or more likely a call from life saying WAKE UP GIRL YOU GOT TIME TO SLEEP WHEN YOU'RE DEAD! It's also one of the funniest of these last seasons. They have to get in quick drag and try to find an excuse to enter the backstage of the Seductions concert, Michelle Visage 90s group FYI. Some of them try to be fishy like Brooklyn and Plastique. Oh. Some try to be campy like Evie and Scarlett. Do you have credentials? It's a maternity test. <laughs> She's my mom. Some others try to be funny with quite good results like Benji, of course, and Akiria. Name three seduction songs. Seduction, seduct, and selectivity. And some others try something that has a meaning only in their heads like Mercedes, Honey, Ariel. Mercedes. How do you spell that? It's M-E-R-C. K E S. Is that Mercedes? Yes. I kind of like Silky though. Only thing I hear is come in Silky. Oh, you told me to come in. I'm here, honey. That's exactly what I would have done. Open the door and go in. Bam! Unstoppable queen, how you doing? But in the end, Nina and Raja win, and they become the team leaders of this week's maxi challenge that is a live show. The queens are gonna be preachers in an evangelical TV show where they try to convert people to pop divas. And when I found out that Nina's group was gonna worship Britney Spears, my god, I was absolutely ready to sell them my soul or my heart or a kidney. Because I think I have one that still works. The other team is gonna praise Mariah Carey, although they know nothing about her. Here's the thing. I don't know a lot about Mariah. And I'm kind of gagged that nobody who's decided that we was doing Mariah knows anything either. RuPaul herself is pissed that they don't know anything. Is there an authority in your group on Mariah Carey? They're going on crickets again. I mean, RuPaul is like season 7 pissed. What the fuck have you been doing all this time? And everybody in the entire world knows that when RuPaul is screaming at you, which you're in epic trouble! And what do these queens do? Do they get scared? Yes! Do they try to do something about it? Absolutely! Do they try to find someone else, someone better to play with and try to win this challenge? Of course not! I mean, I don't know. I think we just stick with the what we side. have. In the words of Monique Hart, world, I cannot. Fast forward to the end of the challenge. There are a couple of things that I noticed happening in the workroom and I want to talk about it. First of all, the Benji and Brooklyn romance. What's going on? I mean, apparently there's love in the air. Hi, Poppy. Hi. How are you? Good. It kind of surprises me because I haven't noticed anything in the last two episodes. I mean, when did this happen? Why aren't we aware of this? Ooh, I bet this is gonna be the new edit to Lovers. It's gonna be like a Hunger Games moment, the two lovers that had to fight each other. Am I the only one who wants this so bad? Is that weird? Am I a bad person? Anyway, I kind of like them together. The crazy hamster and their horse Seth. The horse with the body of a giraffe. I wanna see more! I wanna see more! And I wanna see more of Evie painting her whole body. Evie, baby, I just see her ant eater out. And I mean it the whole body. Ooh, somebody order sausage. 
Thank you, producers! Another thing I've noticed is Mercedes. The other queens ask her about their religion. If she goes to the Moscow, how she feels about the whole thing in general. And she immediately shuts down. Like, girl, what? Why? What? You can talk with us, we're your sisters, what's up? Even in a talking nights moment, she's quiet. She actually asked the interviewer... Can I talk about something else? <laughs> I get it, religion is very much personal, a Muslim is surrounded by a lot of prejudice. So it doesn't surprise me that Mercedes doesn't want to talk about it on national television. The whole thing could have gigantic backlashes or unforeseen repercussions. But that makes me think, is this the reason why she's so shy and introvert? Is this the thing that is blocking her from being her true self on the show? I hope it's not, but if that was the case, I truly wish that the authors would treat this whole thing with dignity and respect. It could be very helpful and educational watching the queens talking about this subject but only if treated with respect and not seen like a mere means to get more viewers. Do you know what I mean? Does it make any sense to you? Anyway, let's go back to our challenge and let's see what happened. The IBBN, it's Britney Bitch Network. Nina and Brooklyn are the two hosts and their opening segment is really funny. There's a good chemistry between them. Every line has a Britney reference and I just love it. Benji is the shit.com. She has to perform the live conversion of two non-believers and she just goes over the top. There's one thing about Vanessa, when that bitch opens her mouth, it's an amazing thing to watch. You can't help but love her for existing into this world. Thank you, Miss Fancy. I thank myself. <laughs> Evie, in the role of the non-believer, works fine, especially for the 2007 Shade Britney gag. Mercedes instead. What is fierce? What's Britney? Where I'm from, we only have spirits. I get it, it's not easy to speak a second language under pressure, I know where you come from, but nonetheless. Girl, oh my god, you have one job. Ariel and Silky are the musical guests, and though their chemistry is a bit off, they end up doing a good job after all. Silky's loudness compensates for Ariel's lack of personality, and they kinda balance each other. You better work, bitch! Ow. The WYB When You Believe channel. This is a colossal train wreck. Starting from Scarlett, who's doing the same character she did last week, and is dragging down Suga, who's actually not doing a bad job, but unfortunately is not enough. Plastic has the perfect look, but that's all. She tries something a bit different. Are so happy to have found a long lost lamb passed out in the sidewalk of an Ariana Grande. But it doesn't land at all. Akiria is the non-believer and I literally don't believe her. She called Mariah's movie Sparkle. I watched that movie Sparkle that she starred in. He loves Sparkle. Girl, the whole universe know that the movie is called Glitter. And that is not an accident. You both said that multiple times. And lastly, Honey and Raja are the musical guests. But they are just too painful to hear and watch and talk about. Honey, Kinky Whip Extravaganza, Scarlet, Dolly Parton Realness, Sugar, Dance with the Fringe, Plastic. You know, that ponytail reminds me of Ariana Grande. Akiria, I'm gonna swing from the chandelier. Raja, uh, no. Nina, Fringe Festival Eleganza. Brooklyn, very much meh. Miss Vanji, I love her, but absolutely no. Evie, she's a freaking jelly fringe. I'm obsessed with this look. Mercedes, Shangela wore it first and better. Ariel, this is the same two pieces in a different color. Silky, electric car wash experience. Experience. In the end, Nina wins the challenge and I'm okay with that. She was a good leader and did a very good job herself. This was really a good week for her. In the bottom, we have all the others. All of you will be lip syncing for your lives. Oh my god. I like can't breathe. Yes, cutie cues, the whole team, the Mariah Carey team, ends up in the bottom and have to lip sync for their lives. Oh, mama is mad and all six of so y'all have to pay. It's really hard to follow six people on stage trying to find a moment to shine. It's actually a hot mess, but I'm super glued to the screen. Suga, Akivia, and Raja are trying to have a choreography moment, but that doesn't work very well. Scarlett does a wig reveal, but the second wig makes her look almost bold. Plastic is really hot. She's at the front of the stage doing her choreography like a pro. Honey is not on the front so she jumps and splits in front of the judges and she looks kind of desperate honey and we all know what desperation means it means that you do something stupid like doing a jump split with a siren dress and that's why you end up going home baby i'm sorry for you honey but you were not ready honey and the next in line for me are raja and mercedes i don't think they're ready for this kind of competition but what about you what do you think of this new episode and which queen did you like most let me know in the comments below and let's talk about it don't forget to subscribe and see you next week 
Bye, Zs.